And this is where the identities were born. But how do I get the tangent of the sum? I want some more, and I'm going for a creeptastic on this because it's October. Here we go. I'm looking at the sign of the sum of these guys, and that's going to be the tangent. Did I say sign? Huh. That's off on another tangent and in another video. The tangent of the sum is going to be the sum of these two divided by 1 minus the tangent of A tangent of B. How am I going to remember this? See, those signs are the same and then that one's opposite. Normally, when we're proving these identities, we start with the more difficult side and we show the nicer side. This time, we are going to start with the nicer side and show the more difficult side. So, I'm looking at the tangents of... A plus B. Oh, hey. that's going to be the tangent. Whoa, whoa there. Not back that math up. That's going to be the tangent if I'm using my ratio identities. That's the sine of A plus B divided by the cosine of A plus B. B, and then we are going to expand out both of those previously shown in other videos. Now he goes and we write those out. This is the sine of A, the cosine of B, and then these are opposites, so the sines are the same, and this is plus. The cosine of A, the sine of B, and then that's going to be all over this guy's cos, cos, sine, sine. So that's the cosine of A, the cosine of B. Now these are the same, so the signs are opposite. So that's going to be minus the sine of A, the sine of B. Now here's the tricky part, see? We're looking to see what we need to do to transform it into this left-hand side, and we see that one there. This is how you're going to remember what to divide by. You're going to divide everything by this guy. Why? Because I want a 1 here, so if I divide by cosine A, cosine B, I'm going to get 1 right there. So we're really not dividing. We're multiplying by a magic 1, and it's this one. 1 over the cosine of A, the cosine of B. 1 over the cosine of A, the cosine of B. So what's that going to get us? We're dividing by a magic one, albeit fancy. So then it's going to go ooh, ooh, and also ooh, ooh, so that we get this on over here. We're going to get the sine of A cosine of B and that's going to be divided by that blue stuff. The cosine of A, the cosine of B. Oh, look at that. That's going to reduce them. What are you going to be left with? The sine of A, but nah. Anyway, I'm going to keep on keeping on because I'm looking at that next time. That's the cosine of A, the sine of B, and that's going to be divided by the cosine of A, cosine of B, and then that's going to be a loafer. This one here. The cosine of A, cosine of B, divided by the cosine of A, the cosine of B. Now we be almost there. So then I'm going to add that to the sine of A. Whoa, whoa there. That's subtraction. Why? Because it is there. That's the sine of A, the sine of B. And I'm dividing that by the cosine of A, cosine of B. So, now, let's reduce. What am I talking about? Cosine A, cosine B, that's 1. Forget about it. Cosine A, cosine A, that's 1. Over here, I meant to say cosine B, cosine B, but you know what I'm saying. Because you see what I'm saying. It didn't fall on deaf eyes. Over here, boom, 1, boom, 1. 1 times 1, 1. Let's clean that up. I'm looking at that over there. What do I have? Sine A over cosine A. That's the tangent of A. Okay. And then that's plus sine B cosine B. That's the tangent of B. Then we see that's all over. 1 times 1, 1 minus sine A over cosine B is the tangent of A. 
Cosine B over the cosine B is the tangent. Sine A, sine B over the cosine B, that's the tangent of B. And then we see that it has been shown.